So good morning or good night depending on where you are in the world and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host Hector and today we're going to talk about the brand new album by the band The Ocean and it's called Holocene. And The Ocean, for those of you that don't know the band, is a band from Germany and they're a progressive metal band with some sludge to them and they've been around for a while now. They have a, a a lot of albums and they started in the beginning of the 2000s but I really got into them back in 2012 or no sorry 2013 I think I believe when they put out Pelagio which was a concept album about the different depths in the ocean and it was very interesting at the time because when I listened to it like as the album progresses it gets heavier and heavier like you're going further in the ocean and I used to scuba dive so I, I, I found that very interesting. So from that point forward I was a fan of the ocean and after that they took a long time to to put out the new albums. They had a concept album about like uh, different eras in the prehistoric time. So they're a band that they're not afraid to experiment uh, with progressive elements and also concept albums and Holocene is another one but Holocene is more in the now. It's the time period from a certain point that I can't remember the name right now and to this present day. And on this album, The Ocean, it's a bit calmer, but still very proggy, proggier, if you will. So they still have some elements in the songs of Sludge and Harder, but they're more few and in between, you know, the, this is a more calmer affair, but that does not mean that if it's calmer, it's bad. No, no, no. This is a great progressive metal album or rock album, if you will. And something that I love about them is that they experiment and they added different textures in this record. For example, on a song like Preboreal, which opens the record, it starts with some sims and it's, it really gets you in the mood because uh, uh, it seems but in a good way not corny uh, I'm, I'm speaking about you Billy Corgan in the Smashing Pumpkins so they use them sparingly but to the benefit of the songs and Preboreal is a great track uh, you know I, I like the the guitars on it that go with the more synth uh, it really beats uh, that builds the atmosphere, if you will, of the album. Then you have a song like Boreal, and Boreal keeps the momentum going, uh, but it, it gets a little bit faster at times. But one of the softer songs on the record is Sea of Reeds. And Sea of Reeds, <laughs> when I'm listening to that song, it feels like you're in a very calm ocean because it's very calm, it's very soothing, almost all the way through. At the end, it gets a little bit more heavier, but not very much heavy. So it's a calmer affair. But then you have a song like Atlantic. So Atlantic is a song that at eight minutes, it really plays with a lot of pacing. For example, something that I love about this track is that it has more electronic elements to it and some like different electronics that like really make the song like uh, a little bit weird sometimes but in a good way but then the song gets sludgier and more progressive in the middle and the guitars are a little bit more uh, bombastic if you will but always keeping those electronics at bay uh, the singing is really good it reminds me of a band like uh, the singing uh, it reminds me a little bit like uh, Leprous, uh, that's another progressive band that has done softening their sound and added different elements. But the ocean really on this song does a great job and that's why I really enjoyed this track. But to me, the highlight without a doubt of this album is the song Unconformities. And this is a nine minute song and it has a guest vocalist called Karen Park. I hadn't heard of her until I listened to this track and her voice is very soothing. Sometimes it reminded me a little bit of like a PJ Harvey kind of voice. And the first half of this song is all her on vocals. So it's a softer affair and more like a, it has like a more like a soothing sound to it. But at the half point of the song, 
the song becomes a different beast because the lead singer from the ocean takes over and the song becomes more frantic and it keeps on building on that frantic and the vocals are insane on this track he's like screaming shouting and it really gets so loud and bombastic that it <laughs> like you have to like wonder like wow this is the same fucking song that i was listening to like five minutes ago so they it's like two tracks <laughs> in one song but it's 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 just an amazing track and you know what it works it flows great together and that's why i think this is the highlight of the album and after this we have two more songs and i can tell you those two uh, additional songs they're just as good with parabiosis and subatlantic and parabiosis again takes it down gets more slower more proggier if you will very when they get like softer it reminds me more of those uh things that like a porcupine tree does for example and uh, I really enjoyed that one. That one in particular, uh, the middle of the song has a great solo to it, but it's those type of solos that are like, not like super fast, like they flow with the music and just great. And Subatlantic starts slower, but it keeps on building. And I think it, it some of the parts of that song uh, can go, uh, can be very similar to something that they did in Atlantic. So I, I think those songs uh, have some similarities to them in some parts, but not every part. And it ends the album on a very high note. Uh, but to me, like I said, my favorite tracks are Atlantic, Unconformities, uh, which is the best one, and I think Preboreal that opens the album. I really love the scenes on that one. So Holocene, by the ocean is a calmer affair this is their most relaxed album less abrasive less sludge but still proggy as fuck and just an amazing album like uh this is an album that you can't talk about it with just one listen you need to like t take your time with this and just sit down and listen to it because every time that you listen to it you can find different sounds and different things that you did not get on the first listen. This is not easy listening, even though it's calmer, there's a lot of shit going on. And that's what the ocean has always done on their records. They're a band that you need to sit down and pay fucking attention to the music because they're amazing musicians. So Holocene Without a Doubt is one of the best progressive uh, rock or metal albums of the year uh, so far. So do not sleep on the ocean. And if you never heard of The Ocean, uh, I would say listen first to Pelagio from 2014 <laughs> and then you can listen to this. So you can have an idea of how much this band has evolved through the years. So if you like the videos that I'm putting out, do not forget to give me a like and do not forget to subscribe. I have more content on the way. And of course, I want you to let me know which tracks you liked on this album. Uh, what did you think of the concept and if you had to pick like a, a random order of the ocean albums how would you put this one on their discography so until next time people this is Hector the shield dude on a couch and I'll see you right here on the couch thank you and good night